Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. January 4th. Wow, baby. Excuse me, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to, accept, to, to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 257, NASDAQ down 232, S&P's flat, gold contract up $14.60, trading at 1814 an ounce. We have silver up 27 cents, 23 dollars eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 90 cents, 76 dollars 98 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year down five ticks, trading 129.09. The 30 year up a full point, plus four ticks at 156.25. And King Dollar, King Dollar is up 48 ticks, trading 96.262. Euro is at 112. The yen's at 116.11, and the British pound's at 135 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, we take a look at this S&P. It's going to be wild watching this thing shake out. Why? Because we have taken the B point out. You took it out with volume. It's an ABC structure on the way up. When we're talking about an ABC on the way up, you took out the 478.81 You need 47 million shares. We're at 44 right now. It'll end up with... 60 probably. Bottom line, that has a price projection like 501. And if we remember, when we, when we broke the consolidation, that price projection is 500. So your probability is a lot higher that we're going to go topside. Now, we, we know that we have divergence out here in a big way. If we go over to the Qs, the Qs also still have a potential ABC structure in the way up. Um, it's getting a little dicey because of the way the volume is coming back, meaning... Let's see that one there. Yeah. Yeah, 65 million. I'd have to do like over 65 million. Um, you know, I'm out of to do something. Uh, so, yes, you came down hard and fast out here today. The Qs came down to 393 or 395.76. That being said, though, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, folks, this is something you want to keep your eye on. And I've seen this so many times. And this is. The market is always about energy. It's energy on the way up. It's energy on the way down. Let me just show you something here. So the first time the Qs came off the high uh, was on the 22nd of November. We came down with 61 million shares. Then we came down with 76 million. Bounces back up. Then we came back down with 82 million. Well, today you came back down and we're only going to have like 60 million. That is saying that we're not done on the way up. Because you take, you take the, we'll get 46 right now, but let's just say it's 55, whatever. We'll know, we'll know we get closer to the end. What happens is this. That is not enough volume, particularly when you see two separate other days when you're going down with monster volume. 78 million, 82 million. And then a wicked contraction. That tells me we go back topside once again. And you can still have an ABC structure on the way up in the queues. The Q's, 404.58 and uh, 377. So you got, uh, what is that, 20, 28 bucks. If it was the low today, you got uh, uh, 420. So we'll see where this baby shakes out. Gold, gold contract out here. The gold got whacked yesterday, but didn't take out a lower swing point. Today goes right back top side again. It trading up 1450. Uh, bottom line, the swing point that it didn't, get into was the 1789 you hit 1798 today you rejected it you're over the consolidation that's still saying gold wants to go to my take 1925 and we'll go over to the dollar because the dollar is how gold started going higher today when the dollar gave it up the dollar had a nice day yesterday had wide price spread yesterday uh today got to a higher high and gave it up pretty quickly uh we got it to a price point of 96 462 Right now, you're at 96.256, which is under the, the highs of yesterday. So dollar hasn't done much. Uh, bottom line, it looks to me like you're still building costs for lower price. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a real toss-up here. 
What is unusual, if you're in the metals market, is this gold contract could have got absolutely smoked out here today. We had the yen, folks, go up 79 ticks. So what ends up happening is this. When the, when the yen gets stronger, meaning goes on the way down, lower price, gold loves it, okay, beyond belief. When we go higher, the bottom line is that they can take gold to the, you know, the woodshed in about two seconds. Didn't do anything today. Pretty amazing. I mean, it really is amazing. It's, you know, we'll see where the rest of it shakes out. Now, notes and bonds. Let's go to the note and bond market. Bottom line, we have some movement. Both the notes as well as bonds, they're going into the lowest swing point. Yesterday, you had some volume inside of the move. We have, however, big, big volume when we came off the last lows. So if we take a look at this, right now you're at 1.4 million contracts. Yesterday you did 1.4 million, and you're coming into 2.4 million and 1.85 million. So the low of the break top side is 128.30. Um, we, we missed that by five ticks today. I suspect it's going to go after it. We take a look at the 30-year USH. 30 year right now, that's down a full point, plus three ticks. This is also going into the lower swing area. And in the 30 year, six hundred thousand versus three eighty four. But you're into the price. I mean the 30 year can get down to this uh one fifty five twenty six. But what you are seeing is that you still need more juice, more volume in order to basically sustain lower price. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. Inside of this marketplace, you get Ford's a, Ford's a major breakout. Um, in fact, if you hear those numbers on Ford, uh, I can see why it's going topside. So their new, let me see if I can pull this up quick because this was something else, man. So Ford's up 10%, but the, the kicker here has to do with their, the F-150, the, uh, new electric car, but I mean truck. But what's going on is that you know I had a Ford 150. I love Ford 150s. Uh, what's going on is that the folks that are buying these new electric ones, right? I believe 70% of them have never owned uh, a Ford truck. That is intense.